Hi guys, in this lesson we'll take a look at the rate data analysis for the differential method. So the differential method is if we assume an elementary reaction with a power law rate expression, then a logarithmic plot of the rate of the change of the reactant concentration versus the concentration will result in a slope which is equivalent to N, which is the reaction order, with respect to the chosen reactant. So for this reaction here, what we have is A goes to the products. So if we do a plot of a logarithmic plot of DCA by DT, so this is the change in the concentration with respect to time versus the concentration, then this would give us the reaction order with respect to A. So if we begin to model this, then what we end up with is the reaction rate is minus Ra. Now we've seen this several times throughout the course, is that minus dCa over dt will equal kCa to the power n, where n is the reaction order. So if we take logs of both sides of the system, then what we end up with is log of minus dCa over dt equals log kCa to the power n. Now, if we break this up, then what we would end up with is log of k plus, because remember, laws of logs, just basic mathematics, is this would be add, so this would be plus log ca to the power n. And then, of course, one of the laws is that the power can come to the front, so that's where this n comes from here. So now, this is in the form of a straight line equation because we have y equals so this would be the y term this is y this here is the y intercept so in an equation of the straight line where we have y equals mx plus c then this would be the value of c this would be the x value and n here would be our gradient or the slope so when we plot this versus this, we end up with something that looks like this. So here we can see this is our x-axis, so this was the log ca. This was our log minus dca over dt. So again, we'll write the equation here. So this is log of minus dca over dt equals... Now I'm going to put in the y equals mx plus c. So we have n of log ca plus log k. So we can see that this is indeed the slope. So this would give us the value of n. Then this would be our y-intercept. Now again, this could be anywhere. This is just a, a very generic uh, graph. And then that would allow us to read off the value of n and the value of k. Because when we know this value, so say this value was uh, 2, then we would do log of k equals 2. So k would be e to the power 2. Or also it would be 10 to the power 2 as well. Just whatever type of log we use. And that would give us the value of k. So again, this is just a summary. If we have a slope of a, so again we can apply this to any a reactant that we have. So this again is just for the value of B this time, so this would be the concentration of B. Then we could obtain the corresponding value of K and the corresponding value of B. So in this case this would be the order of with respect to B. So again this can apply to any uh, reactant within the differential method for rate data analysis. So that will give us an idea of the speed in which the reaction can be taking place. So that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this has gave you a better understanding of the differential method for rate data analysis. We go into further details in our reactor design course, so be sure to check that one out. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below, and we we'll hope to see you in another video.